Hello everyone. Today we are going to take a look at another obstacle from the obstacle list from Tricentis. So today's topic is the red stripe 30034. So let's take a look at the problem statement. Click on the button labeled generate and then click on the red stripe that appears. So basically I have to click on this and then a red stripe will appear. I have to click on that. So if I click on generate, this is a stripe on which I need to click. The number below the button informs you how far right from the edge of the screen the stripe has appeared. The value is displayed as the percentage of the screen width. So basically this is going to be a random value and this is going to be displayed accordingly. So if it is written 92 it is going to come here. If it is written 50 it will come here and accordingly. So this will keep changing and then based on this I have to click on this. So let's see how we will do that. I'll go to my modules. I'll quickly scan this. Just think about it. I'll give you a hint. Uh, there's a standard module which can be which can be used in this particular condition. So I will capture this generate button and this number. These are two things I need. Okay. Now let's take a look at this. So this is unique ID and tag. In this case 92 see ID is there inner text and tag so see inner text 92 is something which is going to change all the time so we will not use this property for identification while with ID and tag it is unique so we are good if not then we would have selected other item here okay now I will just rename this to the obstacle number so obstacle hash three double zero three four and let me copy this and save I will close this and we are good with our module so I'll drag and drop this thing to my test case I will just rename this to the obstacle number and let's get started so the first step is I want to click on the generate button so I can pass a X or a click here now this number keeps changing so I have to capture this value okay so I can capture it in a buffer so I'll mention buffer now you see whenever we have selected this we have omitted the number because this will keep changing so uh, this particular number was coming in the inner text and we have validate this uniquely using other features so what we can do is we can create a buffer and we can use inner text which will keep changing and if you take a note of the red stripe here this will keep changing here and there so it is changing on the x-axis and uh, we can re uh, name the inner text as x axis okay now we can use a inbuilt standard module for this particular type of uh, automation problem. So either you can go to module and search for that or you can just right click search and add test step and search with click on screen. Okay. So this particular standard module will click on the screen with whatever uh, x and y axis and a caption needs to be passed in this particular uh, standard module okay so the caption is tricentis obstacle course we can just mention tricentis and put a wildcard here okay now x axis is something which keeps changing so i can pass this buffer here so i'll put curly brackets b square brackets x axis I'll close this and I'll close this so our buffer is set now in terms of y axis if I click on anywhere it will work so I can mention it anything maybe 20 now all these three things needs to be defined so let's try it out if it is working or not so let me just refresh this so I'll just move this and okay we need it in this particular state the application to be now I'll click on run and we'll see if this works 
so this is a whole series in which i have i'm going to cover all the different type of obstacles so see it has clicked on generate the number has come and it has clicked on the red stripe and or uh, the website is designed in a way that whenever you solve this automation problem correctly it will give you this particular message good job you have solved this automation problem so there's a whole series i am covering all the questions one by one so do follow along uh, let me know how you find this video do like share and subscribe in case you like my content thank you very much have a great day bye bye